which is from her chin to the center of his, or her forehead. What time is this? 11.45. 11.45. Good job. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put that angle from here to there. And I'm, I'm just going to draw that angle right there overall. Okay. Now, what angle are her eyes at? Nope. 245. Close, this would be 3 o'clock. They're actually just a slight bit tilted. Okay? So that, that right there is the tilt of her face. And so if we have if we have a object that has a perfect line going down the center and we have a line going across to the eyes and this is the front of her face right here in order to get that what are we going to have to do we're going to have to tilt it like this do you see that so instead of being flat looking straight at you it's turned and tilted towards you so now we have that awesome angle so now we know what we're dealing with now that we have that the next thing that we do is we need to understand what's underneath in order to be able to draw what's on top okay so underneath if you look up at the board you'll see the beautiful skeletal jolly roger that uh, i drew earlier so we know we have a circle for the skull that goes underneath the nose so if this is the eye line, we can draw, we can actually make the nose line right here and it's slightly off center because it's tilted. So from there, we can identify the overall circle. And you'll notice that most of it's on, if we put this line back where we had it, most of it is on the right side. Do you see how the most of the circle is on this right side? So it's gonna be sitting right here. This right here is the side of her head. And then the jawline comes down like this and comes across and back up. Okay, so now we know where her head is. And everybody has that, right? Everyone's drawn that? Okay, now that we know where her head is, we know where her eyes are, we know where her nose is, her forehead right here. So now we're gonna look and see that her head, we can see the top of her head quite a bit, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to extend out and make it so that the top of her head is tilted so we can see the top of her head and we're going to draw the part in her hair what time is that one o'clock okay and look where it goes it goes to the outside edge of her eye so if her eye is sitting right here and it goes right there that's her part and then it, it tilts right here so it's going to go up and then flat so that's the part and then from there we can go and do the shape of her hair like this it goes up over and then straight down and it, the dark part of her hair matches the curvature of her face. Now, obviously, n normally when you're drawing hair, you're going to actually have the face there too, but we're focusing on hair only today. So this is the, this part of her hair drops pretty drastically and goes all the way over and then swoops. 
and then this part of her hair comes out of underneath there and it swoops so get those swoops in and this part of her hair comes and swoops so you want to get all those swoops in this one swoops over and curls you can't really see what I'm doing there let me move it up a little bit there we go swoops and curls like this and all I'm doing is I'm drawing some basic guidelines where I see her hair and it's just a quick sketch it's really sketchy and these there's a there's a swirl right here that swirls up and this notice how far off the skull I'm I'm putting this because the hair is pretty thick they girls can and that's what this is doing plus I think she has some extensions I don't know I could be wrong and extensions also swoop off your head too okay all right, so there's there's the gist of all of the hair. The hair where it, where it needs to go. And I, I didn't draw hair. So the first dark shape that I'm gonna identify is right next to her, her face. It has the darkest shape is what you start with first. So there's a, it goes up, it comes in goes like that so there's this little space right here and then it comes down along the side of her face and it, it fans out a little bit and then it, it cuts back over there's a dark space here and right right here along her chin there's a dark space and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just gonna take that since it's the darkest dark I'm just gonna make it black it's the darkest dark that we have in this picture so I'm just gonna just fill it all the way in notice how there's a space that I left right here that's not dark darkest dark okay then I'm gonna squint at the picture again there's a darkest dark area along this part, along the part. And notice how I'm not making it even, I'm like kind of like pushing it around. Then there's also one on the other side. Darkest dark on this other side. Okay, <clears throat> and then up, up above here, there's a dark dark on the top of her head. And I'm just shading that in. And then there's a dark area that comes right here. That's uh, pretty dark right here. And then down right here is, don't go dark dark, just go like mid, mid tone, but kind of dark. Like let's do a six right here along this section. Do you notice the difference in value? It's quite a bit different, right? So this is the dark dark and this is like a five six, okay? And, and then um, as I squint, I can see that there's a dark area here and it swoops across here and there's a mid tone here, but then there's a darker tone here And underneath here is really dark. Notice how I'm not, I'm not actually drawing hair at all. But while I'm shading, I'm pretending like I'm combing her hair. This pencil is one bristle of a comb. And I'm combing her hair like this to put the lines in, see? Combing her hair. Now, the next thing I wanna do is put in these, these really dark areas down here. And, and notice how I'm still, I'm combing her hair. Like I'm literally, when I'm shading, I'm just going along with the curvature that I see inside the, the 
the curvature of her hair. So I'm getting in the shadows, but I'm also going along with the curvature. And then I find some darkness over here. Goes up here. And there's a whole section, like I'm gonna actually draw this whole section right here, and it comes down to a point. And once I know that that's all dark, I'm actually just gonna take and comb her hair back and forth and fill that in. There's also a section right here that's kind of like a triangular shape. And then there, this section up here that's, and notice I'm not going fully dark. I, I'm, I'm letting some lighter areas. There's a section right here. There's a section right here. And it's gonna come down. There's, there's a line of darkness that comes down right here. And then there's a big swirl of darkness right here. And this is actually pitch black, so I'm gonna go dark, really dark right here. And I'm swirling it because it swirls down here. But then when I get up here, it's gonna go back to combing. Swirl, comb, okay? This, this is a curvature in, in the hair right here. There's a dark area here. There's some right there. And I'm just filling in the dark sections of her hair. And you're like, Mr. Sheffer, what, what is going on here? Because that is super messy. That doesn't even look good. And I'm doing that on purpose because If I, if I make it look too good initially, it takes too much time, number one. Number two, it helps you realize that if you are being messy, it's okay. Now I'm just gonna go and softly put a couple lines and draw some, I'm basically drawing a few strands of hair. That's what I'm doing. I'm just filling in a few strands of hair here and there, okay? Go ahead and feel free to just dump some strands of hair here and there. And it, it can be messy, it can be, but just act like you're combing, you're combing hair. That's what you're doing. You're combing your hair. And you're just you're gonna comb her hair, make it look nice. Perfect and good. And you can extend out the, the darker areas a little bit more, like extend them and pull them and push them based upon what you see in the image that you're using. Okay, and now, have we drawn hair? Yes. We did, at the very end, I said add some hair lines. But initially all we did was shade in dark shapes and draw shapes, okay? So now, now that we have all these dark shapes in, we grab our magical drawing tool, our finger or paper towel. With this much shading, you want a paper towel. I'm, I'm thinking tissue or a paper towel, so I'd grab a tissue or a paper towel. Now, once you have your tissue or your paper towel, you need to comb her hair. Just go ahead and, and make, watch how I do it from the top. I pull and curve, pull and curve and then pull down and then swoop, swoop. I'm swooping it with the curvature of her hair so that it looks like it's flowing. We want it to flow. Like swoop, swoop, flow, flow. 
flow, swoopy flow. Okay? And I, you don't have to worry about the face. Okay? And you're just gonna blend it all. Then, once you've blended it all, you're gonna squint and you're gonna pay attention to where the highlighted areas are. And you're gonna use your eraser to draw hair on top of the shaded area. Notice that I'm I'm combing her hair again in the same manner in which I did the shadows and I'm going to I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm going to comb in one direction and start over at the beginning so that I as I'm pulling it's going to put highlights and it's going to make it so that those highlights are in the right places pay attention to where those highlights go Once you get some of those highlights in, you soften them up with your paper towel or tissue, but don't soften them all the way, just barely touch them. And then you're gonna go on with your pencil at the very end, and you're gonna put the darkest darks back in. And you're just gonna make sure you get those dark, darks. You don't have to go crazy with them, but you do wanna put them back in. So that it makes the rest of the stuff pop off the page. And this is when you actually start doing the detail. Like, you try to try to make it look like the, cur the curls in her hair and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And I know that everybody in here is being even better than me at this. Because you have to be professional to be in this class. You guys should be good enough that you should be teaching me stuff instead of the other way around. Which is actually usually how it goes. Teachers learn from their students quite a bit. But usually they're learning patience. And I'm just gonna do one final sw swipe to kind of soften everything. Her shirt's black, so I'm just gonna kind of put some texture down there. And that is one way to do hair.